Can AI help you find a date? So a few days ago, I had an article on our sister publication, AI Daily.us, AI Daily.us, which talked about AI dating. And it wasn't AI dating in that you're actually dating an AI or AI. So what AI, was, AI dating was doing was actually helping you to communicate. Because ever since COVID, if you think about it, ever since COVID, a lot of people have lost the ability to effectively communicate to other people. It's becoming extremely difficult to properly communicate to other people. I mean, we've gone from a situation where we could see each other face to face all the time in person to now all we're doing is communicating over Zoom, over text, over any kind of electronic communication. Like I'm communicating to you right now. I am not talking to, I would love to be able to talk to you personally, face to face, in person, breathing the same air, so to speak. But that's not happening nowadays. And a lot of people, it's affected a lot of people. They've a lot of, in a lot of kids, a lot of teenagers, a lot of young adults. It's affected a lot of people. Boomers all the way up and down the age range. Everybody's been affected by this, by this dilemma where we couldn't speak to each other anymore. We couldn't do it anymore. And some enterprising companies are actually using AI to assist in individuals to help them re-socialize themselves into the world. I think this is a fantastic use of AI. This is exactly what we need to use AI for. We need to use AI to help uplift humanity. And when we have parts of humanity that are having trouble socializing because of COVID or other reasons where they weren't able to socialize, the ability to use AI, and this is the thing that drives me insane, is that there's so much negative press when it comes to AI. But AI is doing so many good things in so many different ways, but we never even hear about it. So what I'm trying to tell you is, is that there are startups out there right now that are that can actually that are actually assisting people to communicate better and they're not assisting people to communicate better to ai they're assisting people to communicate better with other human beings now this is something that i've always thought was a thing because the thing about human beings is that we're very fallible right we we make mistakes all the time we forget things all the time so what we really need we really do need assistance we need help and we can either get help from other human beings or we can get help from AI. I mean, when you put something in your calendar to remember it later because you're probably going to forget it, technology is helping you to remember. When you have your smartphone with you, this is your backup brain. This is your brain. I mean, you can only put so much in here, but you can put a lot more in here. It's your backup brain. It helps you to remember things that you couldn't before. And what we need to do is we need to leverage that because this will always be with us now. Okay, I think we're past the doomsday scenarios where people are concerned that their smartphones are going to disappear or the internet's going to disappear or all these tools are going to disappear. This is stuff that's going to be around. Okay, so we just assume that it's going to be around. And once we assume it's going to be around, what we should do is leverage it more to help us be better human beings, right? Let's say you wanted to be a better husband to your wife and you wanted to get her flowers on a regular basis. Wouldn't it be great if you could just set a reminder to get flowers for her on a regular basis? Or even better, have an AI remember it for you and realize that, oh, you just had an argument with your wife, maybe we should get her flowers or something like that. You see what I'm saying? Is that we can use AI to make humans be better humans. And this AI dating thing is only one way of doing it. There's so many ways that we can use AI to help augment us to be better human beings to other human beings. Not better human beings just because we want to be better human beings. Better human beings to other human beings. So improve our ability to interact with other people. AI can provide us with the tools to allow us to be better human beings beings. I mean, why not? Don't you think that would be a good use for AI? It would be a great use for AI to say, listen, I want an AI virtual assistant that I can tell things to, and it'll remind me of things, and it'll even do things on my behalf for me to help me interact with other people better. There was a tool once, I forget what the name of the tool was, but 
what it did is it went through your entire list of contacts and it would say to you it would say hey you haven't talked to so and so in about three months maybe you should talk to them maybe you should ring them maybe you should send them a text maybe you should send them an email wouldn't it be great if you had AI do that on your behalf so like send another ping say hey just checking in to see how you're doing and if they responded then you could take the conversation the rest of the way AI can do so much to help us be better human beings I don't see what the downside would be for us to utilize AI to allow it to help us to be better human beings better human beings in relationships with people better human beings with in relationships with anybody in the world and don't you think that would be something that would really help humanity if we were all be better to each other if AI could help us be nicer to each other be better to each other be more helpful to each other wouldn't that be a good thing wouldn't that be a great use of AI for everybody that's it for me for today see you next time and until then don't forget to think future